today we're going to talk about nine things that you need to do before you board the plane. I'm Roseanne. Welcome to those of you that are new. Thank you for joining my channel. And let's talk about what do you need to do before you board your plane. Well, the first thing you need to do is download your airline app. No matter if you bought your tickets through a travel agent on your own, or through Expedia, whatever it may be, make sure that you download the app and then register and sign up and make sure that you get all your notifications for your flight because that airline app is going to help you stay organized and is going to help you make sure that if there's any notifications, you'll get them and that's really important. Another really important thing to do is to make sure that you have an app that can keep all of your trip details organized. I personally use TripIt and I find it amazing. It gets all the information from your emails, from your, here's Nico, he wanted to say hello. Get all your information from your emails, all of everything. I mean, no matter what it is, even if it's an excursion, a car rental, your hotel, Anything that is a reservation confirmation that you get in your email, TripIt will take it. And there's another app called App in the Air. Now, I've never used that, but that's something you can look into because that's super important. Number three is once you've downloaded the app, you have the option to go in and look at your seats and change your seats if you like. Maybe you would prefer to have your seat more in a different position. You could see what's available. Sometimes they open up seats towards the end of the, um, you know, closer to the flight date. So um, you could always organize and check to make sure your seats are where you want them to be. And number four, you need to remember the carry-on rules for TSA and liquids. You want to make sure you have 3.4 ounces in a one quart container per person. So that's three, one, one. So make sure that you know what you're bringing. Make sure that if you bring a carry-on or any type of carry-on, whether it's your suitcase or your backpack, make sure that you have all of your liquids organized. If you're going internationally, on the way back, they don't have the same um, TSA pre-check or anything where you can just keep your liquids in your bag if you happen to have TSA pre-check. So I always bring an extra Ziploc bag so I can organize all of my liquids because they'll make you take it out in another country. So I like to be prepared. So don't forget the carry-on uh, liquids rule. Another really important thing is to make sure you gather all of your gadgets, all of your electronics. You want to make sure your charger is easily accessible. You want to make sure that your phone is somewhere where it's you can obviously access it. It's really great to download movies or um, any series. I just did that. I'm going on a flight here soon and I downloaded a bunch of stuff because sometimes the airlines have good movies and sometimes you just want to watch your own. So make sure you gather all of your gadgets and have it easily accessible in your backpack. So when your backpack is under the seat in front of you, you don't have to rummage around. You kind of know where everything is and everything is organized. That really helps me out a lot. Now, what's really important is having your snacks. There are a lot of snacks that you can buy at the airport, but they're expensive and they might not be what you'd like. I tend to bring a few little snacks with me, and then of course I like to buy some treats when I travel. So I bring nuts and some dried fruit, and those are mainly what I bring. Maybe a banana, but I need to make sure you eat the banana before you go internationally. So it's always nice to just have a couple of snacks, things that you like, and have those in your carry-on. This is super important. You need to make sure that you wear comfy clothes. I like to look nice on the plane. I don't want to go in, you know, with baggy sweats and, and look, you know, like I just got out of bed. But I still like to make sure that I look nice. So I usually wear um, nice yoga pants or a nice stretchy pair of pants. And sometimes jeans are really comfortable, but not for a 10-hour flight. I make sure that my pants are really comfortable, that they don't wrinkle, and that I feel like um, I'm presentable. That's kind of important to me. 
Don't forget to bring your own water bottle. I have a water bottle that actually has a little filter in it and I really like bringing that with me when I travel. So make sure you bring your own water bottle so that you have access to water. And even when you're going to a hotel or a bed and breakfast or if you're wherever your destination is, it's always nice to know you could fill up your water bottle and you have a little filter in it. Some people are more water conscious than others and I just personally like having a filter in my water bottle. But as long as you have a water bottle, you know, it saves you some money um, instead of buying plastic bottles all the time. And we don't want to forget the hand sanitizer and the moisturizers because we know on the airplane it gets really dry in there. So it's really nice to make sure that you have your lip balm, your moisturizer for your hands, and hand sanitizer. With that hand sanitizer, you could use it on your hands. And if you don't have a sanitizer for your uh tray table, you could still, you could use your hand sanitizer on that and just wipe it down with a napkin. So it's really important to make sure that you're comfortable, that your hands are moisturized. And um, one of the things I like to do sometimes is bring um, a hyaluronic acid face mask. And when I get to my destination, just put a face mask on to kind of rehydrate my skin. And some extra bonus tips, if you are planning on being a frequent traveler, if you've decided that you want to travel often and you want to take advantage of some savings, I would totally recommend you find the airline that you prefer, sign up for their frequent flyer mileage program, get a credit card, it with that airline attached to it so that you can start building up your points and come up with a strategy on how to really parlay those points into benefits for you. Once you start reading the, how the program works, you'll find that if you use that credit card for XYZ, you'll get this many points. And if you spend this much money on your credit card, then you can boost up your status. So coming up with a status strategy is also really important. I've been flying Delta for many years, so I really know how to use the point system, how to use the credit cards to my advantage, and I have flown a lot for free because of that. So if you're planning on traveling a long time for a lot of, you know, and it's, it's a cumulative effect over years as well. So think about doing that. That would really benefit you if you want to get some free travel. And sometimes, you, well, and also you want to think about that for your hotel because I have been staying in Marriott's. So I use a Marriott card. So I get points for Marriott. I get points for Delta. And sometimes I can go on a vacation for a very low fee. And that's fun, right? We all want to do things um, and have fun for a low price. Anyway, I hope this information has been helpful. I hope that next time you go on a vacation that you can prepare and be prepared before you board the plane. And don't forget, I have an international to-do list, checklist, and a packing list uh, free download below if you want to do that. And please follow and like if you want more tips and let me know what you like to do before you get on the plane. So have a really great day. Ciao for now. Bye.